Hello everyone, welcome back to Blackjack. As you can see, I'm somewhere else. This is actually um, the apartment complex next door. You've probably seen me take walks with Athena around here, but uh, I tried to record this earlier. I tried to use my neighbor's internet, you know, thank you Blackjack's neighbor, put it in the comments, etc, etc. Our internet's out. I texted her, yes, at 6 a.m. She's up. Um, I've, I've gotten up at 5, see her walking the dog already, so. <laughs> she actually said she was running late for work, so. Uh, she tested it, and she can't get on either. So, that means everyone is freaking screwed. By which I mean her and me, and possibly her daughter if she comes back to visit. However, because I am outside... You can probably hear that airplane. I did do a test and it's not picking up too much background noise, but I'm... Oh, it's not an airplane, it's a helicopter. You can probably hear that. So... And if you can't hear it, then I'm looking around at a whole lot of nothing to you. Uh, huh. but because I run that Pokemon Villains Discord that I've talked about, I'm going to link it in the description, um, I was spoiled on one thing because of notifications, and that's that they revealed the villain team here and the name of it. It is a name I'd heard bandied about before, but, it, you know, as it is, yeah, we hear those names, but no one can ever say where they came from. Uh, given what else I had heard about the supposed team, I'm picturing that they wear knee pads. <laughs> I don't know anything about what they look like or what their goals are, just their name. I also don't know anything else that's been revealed. Um, I brought this up. I'm going to bring up the YouTube site and so you can see if there's anything in a thumbnail, I'll react to that too. Okay, so subscriptions. Hang on a try. Cover some stuff. Okay, a new team and new rivals. Frickin', come on. Move the mouse over there. I see someone's wearing purple. Start wearing purple, wearing purple. Start wearing purple for me now. All your sanity and wits, they will all vanish. I promise. It's just a matter of time. Okay, so web page, add URL. Uh, okay, bring that up and. Okay, let's see here. Let's see what we got, see what we got, see what we got. Uh, Hi, Alistair. Oh! Oh, goodness, I hadn't heard this. Okay, it's a smokestack and big industrialist-style mustaches? Oh, that, that, that is, that is too funny. Poison fairy? Not, like, poison ground? That's really weird. That's so cute! Dark normal? I would think it would still be a normal type. I think that's trying a little too hard to ape off of, uh, off of, uh, Alolan Radita. Okay, I, I know it's based off, um, like a weasel and a badger and stuff, but still. Yeah. Oh, oh, what's this? Obstagoon?
I'm trying to think of anything to say. I, I can't think of anything to say. That's like, is this the first, um, is, is this the first, um, you know, random rodent area sort of thing? I mean, I know it's not, are badgers rodents? I don't remember. Um, is that the first one of those to get a third stage? That rat. Um, wh what was the one in X and Y? I don't even remember now. The Bidoof didn't get. Gosh. And it looks like it. It, it looks like a punk from like the late seventies, early eighties. That's. That's really weird. Why... Why is it Zagoon of all things? Oh... Oh my god. It's literally a hamster. More peco, full belly mode. It... More pico? It tur Oh, does it take on... Oh... <laughs> hangry? They literally called it hangry? Okay. Am I still asleep? Am I still asleep? First I... <sighs> First we get... Hooligan Zigzagoon, and now we get... Hangry? Also, is it more Peko or more Pico? Yeah, we know about Hop. Oh, who's this smug? Bead? Is this person venerable, though? That's what I want to know. Okay, I, I, I lowered the volume. I'm gonna lower the volume some more. I didn't do a sound check because I didn't want to bring up anything. Just okay, erosion. Ah, another punk, Marnie. F finally, a name I can freaking pronounce. I like that symbol. Marnie's wild fans. Wait. So does that mean you get a villain boss that's your age? But then... Then we don't even know if they actually are the villain boss or the villain team. I mean, it says a new team, but... I mean, if they are sports hooligans, it'd be easy to see how that would descend into villainy, but... Let's see if their website uh, has any says anything. Uh, Pokemon.com slash Sword Shield, which leads to SwordShield.Pokemon.com slash en sl dot dash us. Okay, characters. Oh no, this just takes me to the video. Uh, uh, come on, no, I just want to see about the... Okay. The troublemakers that cheer for Marnie. Okay. Team Yell is a group of troublemakers who soon appear wherever the gym challenge takes you and who attempt to get in your way at every opportunity. Uh, they want nothing more than for Marnie to become champion, and they all try to obstruct other challengers in all sorts of ways. They will take over hotel lobbies, prevent other challengers from accessing transportation, and even shout and distract opponents during battle. Okay, so we're getting that conquest slash masters sort of thing where the trainers can intervene in battle. Uh, 
Whenever Marnie battles, it seems these Team Yell grunts, or well, they're called grunts, are quick to appear, showing their support with Marnie print towels and also horns. That's a towel, not a poster? Um, you'll have to face them many times during your travels. They'll try to get in the way of gym challengers. Uh, Marnie seems to be able to get them to stop, though. They'll show up out of nowhere to cheer Marnie on. Okay. Marnie herself, what's the description there? Uh, she has many passionate fans thanks to her sense of style and a calm, collected, calculated battle strategies. She's wearing that symbol. Is that the symbol that the grunts have? Because... Yeah, I don't see it on there. There's just like a, an upside down Y that's forming like a claw or a or a um or a talon or a claw or a mouth but she has that like port symbol on her collar yeah she doesn't seem to be wearing that symbol anywhere on her and bead oh bead is a boy and received his endorsement from rose the chairman of the galar pokemon league uh, while he's clearly aiming to become champion, he seems to have other objectives as well. See, I'm predicting that we're going to get two teams again, like in Hoenn and Alola. Because this smug little... <laughs> Gordor-looking little fuck is um, definitely up to something. Not so venerable bead, huh? See, Rose and o what was her name? Oleana and uh, Leon. All three of them are heavily sus to me. Obstagoon. Obstagoon is 5'3", so it's a little taller than my mom. And will taunt an opponent, goading it into t attacking. Okay. Um, the Linoon of the Gala region live in harsh conditions compared to those found in other regions with fierce competition against others of their species. Their survival instincts have been honed as a result, leading to their evolution into Obstagoon. Okay, well that makes sense from an evolutionary standpoint, from like a practical one. Weezing Galarian form. Nine foot ten? Okay, I knew those freaking top hats were going to lead to some sort of... Uh, oh my goodness, it's kind of the opposite of smokestack. It emits purified air from the tops of its heads. Glearing Weezing consumes polluted air and poisonous gases for sustenance. The air and gases absorbed will have toxins removed before being spewed out again from the tops of Weezing's heads. <sighs> Apparently, the air produced through this purification process is very clean. So it's clean air, but it's also Weezing's waste. I'm going to have to think about that for a second. Uh, toxins accumulated within Weezing's body form into, its co into concentrated poison gas clouds that leak out and drift around it. The gas is so potent that even a whiff is enough to stun and immobilize an opponent. Oh my goodness. Hmm. I love those industrialist mustaches, though. That's that's really fun. Oh my god. So, Lainoon is rushing. Oh, <laughs> it's popular among unhappy and angry youths. Galarian Lainoon are rash and fearless. And they will recklessly pick fights, even though the opponent's stronger than themselves. Their fearlessness, as well as their tendency to attack opponents head-on, make Galarian Lainoon very popular among the disaffected youths of the Galar region who have nowhere to direct their frustration and anger. Does Masuda still say that there are no major social problems in this world? Because he said that a while ago, and it was bullshit then as much as it's bullshit now. Uh... And now Zigzagoon. Tiny raccoon! <laughs> Still 
the freewheeling original species of Zigzagoon. Hmm. The Zigzagoon of the Gala region move about however they like and never settle down. They are known to inhabit all areas of the region, including forests, fields, and even towns. There's some speculation that the zigzag movements of the Zigzagoon in other regions stem from the restless natures of Gaz Galarian Zigzagoon, which is considered to be the oldest branch of the species. Galarian Zigzagoon enjoy battles and will charge at people and other Pokemon and attempt to provoke a fight. This behavior usually succeeds in starting a battle with other Pokemon, but humans think Galarian Zigzagoon is just playing or showing affection. It causes some Galarian Zigzagoon some frustration when people don't get angry even though it's trying to provoke them. <laughs> that is so funny. You know what I realized? Even though... Um, Impidimp was revealed at E3, they still haven't done an official reveal yet. And that's that's really weird. What what happened with that? Huh. Freaking Team Yell. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's go see some of the comments here. Elite Four, 21 Savage, Gordon Ramsay, The Queen, and Boris Johnson. Uh, Zigzagoon got infected by the Venom symbiote. <laughs> is that an unfriendly rival I see? So the new evil team is a toxic fan base. Are you trying to tell us something, Game Freak? Uh... Hangry, I can taste the Snickers memes pouring in. Uh, <laughs> and I come at. Am I still. Am I still asleep? Did I dream this? Factory industrialist wheezing. Uh, 1970s thug punk zigzagoon evolution. Uh, they're more hooligan than thug. <laughs> Uh, carry a little different connotations there. Evil team that makes professionals. I used to believe that Yell is our evil team. And look, we're heavy suspicion at Rose and Leon and now Bede, who is anything but venerable. <laughs> I think they're going to pull an Aether foundation on us again. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well I, I'm 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 pretty sure that I've said everything I need to say. I'm still not one hundred per sure percent sure that I'm actually awake. I, I just the, because I, I have a feeling that I dreamed this bullshit. Like you guys all saw that too, right? Right? Please tell me you saw that, cause, cause I really need to hear it. <laughs> I'm Blackjack Aviani, and I'm currently questioning my existence. <laughs>